and it basically ends with the um, music, it's like say, stage left and right. Oh no, you don't have to get down, Magic. Could it be the whole opening wide? the light on behind the projection screen. Uh, right stage, uh, right centre, centre, left centre, left. It does wash the image out a little bit with the backlighting. Even though it's facing in inward towards the speakers, and I need to add, up, say, I think um, a little bit more backlighting so it can just um, maybe come up from underneath or below the uh, the base cabs, so it can illuminate them a little bit better. I just noticed the um I noticed something. Oh my cat magic sat on my lap. Oh hello magic. Not sure if I find a dark scene. Something with uh, some Oh, you gave me a massage. Yeah, sort of a dark scene. So notice the, the projection um, lighting was um, partly illuminating um, the screen speaker, the rest of the screen speakers. Um... I think I know chapter the play. Let's try chapter uh, chapter one. Yeah, there we go. Because uh, I still got a bit of back uh, projection light that's going onto the screen. <laughs> you know, uh, there's still a bit of light there that's going onto the screen, and I can just a little bit visibly see the uh, the screen speaker uh, base cabs just a little bit more. And then uh, you see that one of them over there. Uh, the other is a little bit obscure. I'm not getting much flicker on my uh, camera here. Uh, it's still set at the same frame rate. Um, but it's pretty lousy at the Bournemouth Oli and I sense Atmos screen because all I can see when I on my camera is roll bars going down the horizontal roll bars you know it's just because of the frame rate in the camera phone you know I can only switch between 30 and 60 frame so maybe if I switch to a 30 frame maybe if I were drugged and dragged 
long to see that bloody eye sense bloody atmos screen again because there's no fucking way i'm going there on my own no way seriously if i'm drugged and dragged i'm taking my fucking ear defenders with me i'm not joking i will put, put my ear defenders on because it is just too damaging in the bloody mid and mid mid uh, it's too damaging on the hf horns it's just bloody unbearable and it makes the movies just sound bloody unrealistic it doesn't make it sound bigger than life it just makes it totally bloody unrealistic and bloody annoyingly too damn fucking makes me fucking swear <laughs> I know it's the green hair also it looks greenish down the hair, but my eye's not really seeing that because the camera is slightly exaggerating it. As well as the, the colour up here, it's slightly exaggerated because of the um, ISO on the camera. Oh, that sounds, this sounds way better than the bloody Blu-ray. <laughs> still have all the bullets ricocheting or whatever or I don't know how they're ricocheting on bloody snow I mean the bullet will just pass through it wow <laughs> this is what I like about the older ones way better than the bloody Daniel Craig garbage trash because they don't they don't even they don't they don't put ton and cheek in the bloody Daniel Craig shit you know like you know oh they just don't do it these ones are just oh wow that's a cool pan Peaky California that was a good pan sound. Coming down really quick on the uh, stage right. Whoosh! And that looks a bit exaggerated in the blue, the um, <coughs> um, because it's a little bit more less than that on the screen that I'm seeing. Maybe because if I turn the backlighting off, it probably uh, probably be a little bit different. But it looks very like hyper sort of. Um, oh gosh, what, what's the bloody effect called? Um, oh blue, blue, blue. Come on. Um, ultraviolet, that's it. Maybe I might, I might get some ultraviolet lighting and put it in the room just for some effect. Maybe in there I'll get some ultraviolet lighting. Maybe try that behind the screen to illuminate and see what that looks like. I'm thinking about getting a laser uh, thing, for do a laser, um, maybe like laser graphics or something on the screen. Maybe like a Empire Leicester Square sort of thing. Oh, wow. I mean, that was a cinema that really went to the hilt showcasing the cinema, the Empire Leicester Square for the laser projection show for all the three different, three different laser shows they did for the, uh, you know, you got the opening, um, just before the um, just before the trail uh, advertisements, and then I think they closed it, and then had a brief sort of thing, and then they did it again, and and then they finally did it just before um, showing the THX um, trailer. Way cool, way cool. And then you know, like I say, right after the THX trailer, then the movie starts. None of this bloody Odeon bullshit. We're fucking showing a 
advertisements, then trailers, then an Atmos trailer, then more fucking advertisements right after the fucking hell. Whoever fucking programmed the fucking cinema server needs to be shot, needs to be fucking fired. And the thing I just can't stand, you know, I can't talk. We all got video projectors in the home. But seeing, I went, I went into one of the other screens and I was watching, I think, I think it was Internals again. Because uh, it was playing in the iSense screen and it was playing in another screen. And I went and saw it in, in, in another screen and you could see it. It was just like, just like this sort of thing, you know, with... Um, it had no masking, no vertical masking. All they, all they got is horizontal masking, so they got no vertical masking to move up and mask, uh, or basically zoom the image up. Yeah, make it fill the bloody screen. It looked, it looked tatty. It looked tacky. Oh fuck yeah! You know. This sort of thing, this sort of home projection sort of thing has filtered into cinema and that's where cinema's gone like thumbs down. Um, there's no point going to the fucking cinema. I just don't see the fucking point in it. These movies that, that show there, they're going to be on blue 4K for you fanboys that like that bloody format, praise that format. It's going to be on the fucking disc format within four months. I mean, what? No time to... Well, I've got no time to buy it and watch it again. And um, that is due next month. on, And that only opened in October. Crap. Garbage. <laughs> unlike, unlike the days when, you know, it took maybe a year or so. Um, or sometimes a little bit... Maybe just a little less. You know, home market and that sort of appeared. But go back many more and more me years and other movies would just take way longer to, until they got um, video release uh. <clears throat> uh, I can rant I can rant and rant and rant until I'm fucking blue in the face oh it's an EEPROM chip oh it's an EEPROM that's an EEPROM chip <laughs> programmable. <laughs>